All right, I have another battle here for you guys today against another fellow YouTuber, uh, the Pika Wu. We battled once before, I believe, in Gen 5. I think he got it, so um, looking for some payback here in Gen 6. He asked me for a match, and I was kind of liking what I've seen from Yu Yu so far. And I requested a Yu Yu one, and uh, he was happy enough to oblige. He did have a Yu Yu team. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. He leads with Housewife, his uh, red uh, oven. Okay, then, that's... A great name. All right, we're going to go ahead and lead with Espeon, but I do not want to stay in. I don't know if this thing maybe has Shadow Ball or something, really. That overheat probably would have killed me uh, either way. So I go out into my Darmanitan to take the, uh, well, the overheat that I thought was probable as what he's going to use. And I'm just going to go for a Flare Blitz because I am Choice Banded and uh, it should do a lot of damage. And I see that I am faster. Uh, looking at this the first time, I kind of thought it was, uh, you know, choiced in some way, either... Choice Banks or Choice Garf, but uh, he is not, which kind of surprised me because I kind of thought at first glance he was. So that's why I went for the Flare Blitz um, because I thought he would switch out. Anyway, I do not want to stay in against a Rhyperior, so I decided to switch out in my Blastoise because I don't really know if there's a whole lot my Rhyperior can do to me. I do have pretty good defense on Blastoise. It is my Mega as well, and I know I can scare him away with a uh, Water move. And, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, I do go for the Hydro Pump. He ends up protecting, so that gives me kind of like a free Mega Evolution there. Um, as he just wants to see what I'm going to do. And he does see the Hydro Pump and um, ends up staying in, I guess, hoping that I'd miss or something. I, I don't, I mean, I know Solid Rock is a thing, but I really don't think you're going to live a Mega Blastoise Hydro Pump. Unless he was just hoping for the miss or something. Um, yeah, it's probably not probable. Regardless, he goes out into his Empoleon as I go back out into my Espeon predicting the Stealth Rocks. I know that uh, Empoleons like to set up a lot, so um, yeah, that's pretty cool for me. I get up the free Stealth Rocks. I did have my Bronzong here, which did have Stealth Rocks as well. That's always kind of nice when your opponent just sets up, up for you. Now I make a probably pretty stupid play. Instead of switching out, I decide just to go for the Psychic, which... Uh, looking back on it is not very good for me at all, um, being that it doesn't, it is resisted and it doesn't do much. I go out into my Shaman, hoping that he would go for a Hydro Pump again, but uh, he ends up making a great play and just goes for the Ice Beam, which is super effective. Uh, he knew that Ice Beam would finish off Espeon anyway, so um, pretty good play that for him there. Now, I'm just going to go for the Seed Flare for two reasons. One, I think that he wants to try to set up the Stealth Rocks again, so I don't think he'll uh, try to finish off Shaman. And um, two... Because I was kind of hoping the Seed Flare would actually kill, and uh, no, these these uh, Empoleons are usually especially bulky, and it doesn't quite do it. Anyway, I'm going to try to finish him off here uh, now with a Seed Flare, as he goes out into Bronzong for the resistance. Not to mention Bronzong is pretty damn bulky, so it's not going to be able to do a whole lot to Bronzong. Um, but um, yeah, I don't get the special defense drop either, so that kind of blows. Either way, though... Uh, I don't really know what Bronzong does anymore. I mean, I am also carrying a Bronzong on my team, and looking at what we do. I think we have more or less the same set. I have Stealth Rocks on mine. I don't may I'm not sure if he has it on his, because that would give him two Stealth Rockers, but um, whatever. He does have the Trick Room, which is something I run on mine, as I uh, believe I just go for a Seed Flare. What do I do? Yeah, I just go for the Seed Flare. He's going to switch out uh, because Executor is also really slow. It seems that he is running a um, more or less a Trick Room team here, as he goes out into Executor, which he hope will be able to break through my defenses. I do go for the... Uh, Sleep Talk. Those who watched the battle with Hayden last week uh, knows this Shaman set. I decided to give it another chance, being that it did almost so good against Hayden. Almost pulled it out for me. Decided to give him another chance, and look, at this, this time, Shaman is uh, actually going to go ahead and not be lazy and try to win. Uh, I do get the Air Slash there. He does have the Citrus Berry, and he also has Harvest, which gives him another Citrus Berry. A pretty cool uh, little set there. Um, but as you can see, Psychic is doing less than half to me, so I should be pretty good to stay in, wake up, and to go for another rest, um, and hope that I can rely on Sleep Talk. I know, looking at his HP, if I get another Air Slash, that should be a dead Executor. So, um, yeah, I just have to hope and believe in Shaman. This time, Shaman, I know you're cute. Come on, little buddy. Go ahead, little Chinchilla, or Hedgehog, or whatever the heck you are thing. Yeah, there we go. An Air Slash, which will finish off the Executor, so that's pretty cool. Um, and he goes now out into Drag Algae, which is the thing he probably should have went into in, to begin with. Assumably, this Drag Algae is special and has, um, you know, stabbed uh, poison moves, whether it's the Sludge Bomb. What do these things run these days? Sludge Wave, whatever. I go out into Bronzong, um, thinking that he'll go for it, and he ends up just going for the Draco Meteor. 
Uh, looking at this guy's set, I believe this thing is actually like Choice Bex or maybe Choice Scarf. Not really sure which. Um, but as you can see, the Draco Meteor does okay damage to Bronzong, but my Bronzong is pretty much a uh, special tank-ish. Not to mention it resists that. He goes for it again, which further leads me to believe that, uh, yeah, this is a special attacking thing. Maybe a choice specs. Not really sure. As I just go for the Kapow, because I just want to get rid of this thing. I'm glad he didn't switch into his own Bronzong to resist. Actually, now looking back on it, but, um, yeah, this is the normal, uh, gem Bronzong. I do like a great deal. Um... And, yeah, it's going to take it out. As you can see, I end up critting, which, remember that, that's I probably almost certainly didn't matter uh, with normal gem and explosion. I, I highly doubt it mattered, but, um, yeah, it's just kind of funny. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I go out into Blastoise as he goes out into his, uh, once again, his housewife, and, um, yeah, this is not the matchup I was hoping for. I go back out to Espeon, and, uh, yeah, I, he ends up going for the Volt Switch, and I just pretty much death fodder Espeon. The good news for me is, unless he's able to, like, defog, which his Empoleon might have defog, not really sure, uh, this, uh, Rotom is not going to be able to switch back in because of the Stealth Rocks, so at least I consider this almost dead at this point. Depends on his Empoleon set. He ends up going into Bronzong now, but he does have to show his Pokémon first, and I can't help but feel that maybe I played this a little bit incorrectly. Uh, my Blastoise does counter the Empoleon pretty well, being that I resist, uh, both of his moves that I've seen. Um, but instead I just go for the Rapid Spin because I really wanted to get Darmanitan back in safely. My Darmanitan is too weak to switch back in with Stealth Rocks in play. Uh, not to mention I had another Stealth Rock Meekmon in uh, Salamence. But um, looking back on it, it does let him set up a Trick Room. And Empoleon is pretty darn slow. And uh, yeah, it's slower than the rest of my team. And he has Ice Beam. And looking at the rest of my team... I have the injured Darmanitan, who's not going to take a water move. I have uh, Salamence, which has an Ice Weakness. And I have my... Um, which has X Forest Delph weak, uh, Ice Weakness. And I have my Shaman, which is also weak to Ice. I go out into my Salamence, as he just goes out into his Happy Feet Empoleon thing, and yeah, he's not going to be able to survive an Ice Beam, so... Rip Salamence. You should be OU anyway. Get out of UU, you, you stupid dragon thing, and... Um, I'm thinking that I can take an Ice Beam. Looking at how much damage it did earlier, all I need to do is hit with an uh, Air Slash. It has better accuracy than Seed Flare, and I believe it should be able to kill, obviously, at this point, and it does. So thankfully it hit. Good job, Shaman. This time, you the MVP. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to eat my leftovers, and he's going to, I believe, come in and die with his last Pokemon Rotom. He's not going to be able to switch back in, as I said. And, uh, yeah, that is game over, but uh, very good Pika Wu. Uh, he is a very popular YouTuber at this point for Pokemon Battling. If you haven't heard of him, make sure you check out his channel. Link in the description. Um, but yeah, that is a uh, very, very good game. Today's question of the day is, what is your favorite utility move? Now, um, I consider those moves that are non-attacking moves and don't set up a status to be a utility move. Now, like, uh, he was using Trick Room, which is a very powerful move in the right team. Um, I also used a few utility moves myself in this battle, like uh, Rest, not to mention uh, Rapid Spin, I consider. I mean, like, technically it's an attacking move, but it's really a utility move, you know what I mean. Um, and anyway, even something like uh, Stealth Rocks. Um, Actually, let's 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 uh stay no entry hazards either. But um, as for me, probably Rapid Spin or Defog are probably my favorite utility moves. Uh, leave a comment about what you like as far as utility moves in Pokemon goes, and I will see you guys again next time. Later.